Hi everyone, welcome to Software Talks. This is Kanna Babu. Today we will discuss about database. First of all, we must know what is data. Data is collection of raw facts. What is information? The data belongs to a particular organization. It is called as information. For example, if you take a college, let us assume that I am developing an application for a particular college. So, lot of data is there, belongs to that particular college, the student data, employee data, the department data, course data, the library data, some administration related data. So, the data belongs to the entire organization, is called as information, A meaningful data is called as information. So, generally, whenever we want to perform any operations on data, we need to store the data. In order to store the data, we require some memory. That memory is basically divided into two types. One is temporary memory, other one is permanent memory. Temporary memory means RAM, permanent memory means hard disk. So if you want to store the data uh, temporarily, generally when we, perf when we work with any programming languages like Java, .NET, Python, TypeScript, etc., we will store the data temporarily on RAM. So if you want to store the data temporarily, we will use either variable or array or object or collection. So if you want to store the data permanently, that is in hard disk, we have to take the support of files or database. So if you store the data in a file like .txt file, .doc file, .mp3, .xls, .pdf, .pg, .html, .json, .xml, these all are different types of files. Code related files are there, data related files are there. .html, .cs, .java, .py, these all are code related files. .jpg, .txt, .json, .xml, these all are data related files. So if you want to store the data permanently, that is in hard disk, we can store the data either in the form of files or databases. So in database is nothing but collection of information. The data belongs to a particular organization. As I told you, I am developing a project for a particular college to maintain the student details, employee details, course details, department details, library details. So the data belongs to this entire organization we have to store in one database. In database, the data will be stored in the form of tables, which is collection of rows and columns. And there are some rules when we want to store the data in the database. So in order to store the data in the database, some database related softwares are available like SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL, these all are relational database management system softwares. Database software is a software which is used to manage the databases. Is it clear? And uh, if you want to communicate with the databases to perform different types of operations, mostly what operations will perform is CRUD operations. Insert, update, delete and select. If you want to store the data in the database, we have to perform insert operation. If you want to delete the data from database, we have to perform delete operation. If you want to fetch the data from the database, we have to perform read operation or search operation or select operation. If you want to update the data that is available in database, then we have to perform update operation. So in order to perform any operations on data, we need to write some queries. For that, we have one language that is SQL. So SQL is a language which is used to write the queries to interact with different database softwares, different databases like SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL. If you want to interact with these databases, we have to write some queries by using one query language. You can just pronounce as SQL, SQL, Structured Query Language, or simply you can pronounce as Simple English Query Language. So SQL is a common language for all the database uh, softwares to communicate with the databases to fetch the data. There is one common language that is available in is SQL. So here you can see there are different databases are there Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL. These all are database softwares. SQL is there. SQL is a language which is used to write the queries to interact with database databases. And these databases are again divided into two types. One is SQL databases, other one is NoSQL databases. SQL databases are SQL Server, Oracle, MySQL. NoSQL databases are MongoDB, HBase, Cassandra. These all comes under NoSQL databases. Nowadays, MongoDB has also become very popular. Mostly Python developers, MeanStack developers, they will use MongoDB. 
it is also a NoSQL database. Is it clear? So uh, it is a document based database. In NoSQL database, the data will be stored in the form of collections. Collection is nothing but group of objects. Some in the form of documents, the data will be saved. Mostly nowadays, the streaming data, continuous flow of data, some uh, unstructured data is there. Structured data and unstructured data, semi structured data. Structured data means the data will have some structure. Mostly, structured data, if you want to store, will go for a relational databases because the data will be stored in the form of uh, tables. Here you see some student table is there, employee table is there. The data will be stored in the form of tables, maintaining the student information, employee information. Similarly, unstructured data means the data will be stored in the form of documents, in the form of objects. It will not maintain the data in the form of, it, it is not mandatory to maintain the schema of that particular documents. Anyway, one more video I will uh, prepare on difference between relational databases and NoSQL databases. Is it clear? I think, did you understood how to work with what is database? But here one more point is that end user cannot directly communicate with this database softwares because if you want to interact with the database softwares one language is required that is SQL. Is it clear? So if end user wants to interact with the database softwares one application is required. Web applications like Facebook, IRCTC. These applications can be developed by using Java, .NET, Python, PHP etc. These applications will interact with the database softwares. So developers must learn the language that is SQL or no SQL to communicate with the different database softwares so that end user will access that particular applications. Okay, so that's it. For more videos, try to like, share and subscribe and click on bell icon for new videos. Okay, thank you.